In this video, we're going to take a look at the ideal gas law. So this gas law combines all the gas laws together. So Avogadro's law, we've got Boyle's law, Charles law, and Guy Lussac's law. So all of these laws together create the ideal gas law. And so the ideal gas law is pressure times volume is equal to the number of moles times R, which is the gas law constant, times temperature, or PV equals NRT. So P is our pressure, that's in units of kilopascals. V is volume, that is in units of liters, or also decimeters cubed. N is number of moles, so that's in moles. And temperature is in Kelvin. Now R, is the gas law constant. And so this is a constant value, and the value that we use is 8.31, and the units are kPa liters per mole per Kelvin. When you're using this equation, you can just put in 8.31 in your calculation, but just know that the units are this for this particular constant. And sometimes you see the liters swapped out with decimeters cubed. Okay, so let's take a look at an example of how we can use this in a calculation. So in this calculation, it's asking us how many grams of carbon dioxide are contained in a sample that occupies 1.09 liters at 127 degrees Celsius and 40.5 kPa. Now, we're asked for grams, which is a mass. And we know that to get a mass, we first need to figure out the number of moles of carbon dioxide that we have. So let's list out first what we know. We know our pressure is 40.5 kPa. We know our temperature is 127 degrees Celsius, but we also know we need to convert that into Kelvin. So that is equivalent to 400 Kelvin. We also know volume, 1.09 liters. We know our gas constant is 8.31, uh, but we don't know the number of moles. So we can set up our PV equals NRT, and rearranging to solve for moles, we would have PV over RT. So we're just going to plug in all of our values here. We've got 40.5. We've got for volume is 1.09. And then divide that by our gas constant, 8.31, times our temperature in Kelvin which is 400. And so if we were to solve this equation, you get 0 0.01328, so on, moles. Okay, we don't wanna round off here yet because we are not done our calculation. We still need to find the mass. Remember, mass is equal to moles times the molar mass. So we have the number of moles of our gas, 0 0.01328, and the molar mass of carbon dioxide gas is 44.01 grams per mole. And so solving this equation gives us 0.584 grams. So that would be our final answer for this question, and that is how we can use the ideal gas law to solve problems involving gases. That's it then for this video. Let's move on to our next task.